What's happening team? Liam from Lazarus Personal Training and in this video I am going to coach myself from 2011. When it came to the premise of this video, it started life differently. It started life as a bit of a, a skinny lad's home truth for trying to gain size and I actually thought you know what would be more interesting is me coaching me when I first started out. So. To give you a framework of who I was in 2011, I was 17, just going 18 when I first stepped into a pro wrestling ring. I was starting my second year of college. I was about 70 kilo, give or take, in that sort of range. Uh, I reckon I was probably around nine stone. Nine stone is around about where I sat. I don't know if those two things match up. I was the epitome of skinny fat. Off your skinny fat ass! I had no arms, no legs. I would like to say that I had some definition in my abdomen area, however, I didn't. And for the most part, I was often bloated because I had a fair bit of milk while being a little bit lactose intolerant. So I would often be slightly bloated in the midsection. So, obviously, a fantastic look to have. My whole reason for joining the gym was to get better at pro wrestling and to better my physique for when it came to pro wrestling. So on my first day going into the gym I had an induction and what I'm envisioning here is that actually I sat down with me rather than what happened which was I was taken around the gym, asked for about two seconds what my goals were in terms of joining the gym, shown the equipment and then told you're good to go. I was not good to go and the majority of my time in the first year of training, yeah around a year, was sitting on machines not knowing how to use them correctly, watching people in the dumbbell area trying to work out what they were doing. If that area cleared out, and this was quite a small space at Wycliffe Mount Sports Centre, if that area cleared out walk over, maybe pick up a dumbbell, maybe do a bicep curl. I started getting a little bit more adventurous and using the bench to do a Smith's machine bench with terrible form. I remember seeing a sign saying that barbell back squats were better than the Smith's machine squat. The only problem is they didn't have any barbells in the gym, just a Smith's machine. So it was almost like just tempting you. I'd do some ab exercises and there was a Bulgarian sandbag, which I was quite fond of. Not that I knew if I was using it right, but it was quite fun to throw around. So overall, my progress in the first year where they talk about beginner gains was minimal. With that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down with me from 2011. Can you be any louder? What I'm going to do is sit down with myself from 2011. I'm going to ask myself some questions and then I'm going to design a framework for training and nutrition and some reasonings behind that. Also, this may get dead confusing when I'm talking about me, but him, but me. So bear with me on it. So Liam, what exactly do you want to achieve out of being in the gym? Uh, so I, I, I want to get, I want to get bigger for wrestling. Um, so. I, like, I really like The Rock and I think he's really cool. Um, so yeah, I'd like to I'd like to put on some size so I, I'll look a little bit more like a wrestler. Okay, fantastic. And tell me, what's your previous experience like with health and fitness and exercise? Uh, so like at school, um, I did, uh, I did, I played football. Uh, like I played like um, a year of like cricket and uh, like um, like at college I've not really uh, not really like done like anything like and then finally give me an idea about what your nutrition is like like I eat quite a lot actually uh, like uh, in the morning like I'll have like a, a slice of toast or like maybe some cereal um, and then like at college like um, uh, have um, like some flapjack or like um i might have like a mountain dew like i tend to have like a mountain dew every every day that i go into college it's quite a big bottle like it's about a liter one um and then like i, I work at a carvery so like i um i either uh like i'll have a carvery or like my mum makes tea so yeah like i yeah like i eat quite a lot like i just can't put on any size so from that there 
you can tell I'm an idiot. Uh, you know what, no, that's not fair. I'm not an idiot and I wasn't an idiot. I just didn't know what I was doing. And that's very, very common. And I, at this moment in time, would love to say that I would have loved that when I was at that point. But actually, I don't know if I would have done. I think I would have been incredibly shy and reserved. I was a bit like, I'll just do it by myself. So with hindsight, I don't even think I'd have got this far into it, but play along. So in terms of the training, what I would do with him is set him up on a program where he would be working out three times a week to give him a bit of flexibility. We would be working on a squat pattern, a push pattern, and then from there, a row pattern and a hinge pattern or some variation of the upper and lower. So that might be a squat pattern and a row pattern and a hinge pattern and a push pattern. Reason being is that I want Liam from 2011's movement patterns to be as good as possible. If we build up his strength, he's probably gonna build up a bit more size with that too, so they go hand in hand. Once we've done those movements, I would then get him doing some isolation exercise and these would vary from day to day, but we'd either be looking at biceps and triceps or quads and hamstrings. The reason why I'm getting him to do a little bit more um, isolation work is because size and hypertrophy, while he doesn't particularly know that, is important. So to get him doing those things makes him feel like he's moving towards the right direction. So to give a framework of what train, a training week might look like, his Monday might look like some squats to begin with, bodyweight squats, to then superset that with some push-ups. Then going into a cable back row that paired up with a kettlebell hip hinge. We then put in some tricep pull downs and some uh, bicep cable curls. Again, I am literally throwing this out in my head. We would then repeat the strength exercises every day. The difference being the isolation exercises would change to some leg extensions and some leg curls and then back to arms with a slight variation. I might use some dumbbells for it. What we're doing in that beginning phase is implementing set patterns so Liam can develop and he can grow. Once he gets good at those things, we might change the bodyweight squat to a kettlebell goblet squat. We might change that push-up position to some dumbbell pressing where it becomes a little bit more about the muscle stabilizing. We might change that uh, cable row into some sort of pull-up variation and we will change that kettlebell hip hinge into a kettlebell deadlift, then maybe some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. But there's a progression that we're going through and that's the skill of strength that we're trying to learn. In a beginning phase, if you've never been in a gym before or you've got very, very limited experience, I would want you to learn the skill of strength because it pays off massively down the line. His isolation exercises will just vary over time with increasing difficulty, rep ranges, and all that sort of stuff to keep it interesting and to keep it feeling like he's doing the right thing by getting a pump in the areas that he wants to develop, that being his arms and his legs. We'd also throw in some core stuff through it. So once he's done his isolation stuff, we're gonna throw in some stability exercises like dead bugs and bird dogs, get him doing some planking, maybe get him doing some like crunching movements just so he can feel like the abs are working. But overall, that strength work is gonna be the key component to making sure his core is strong. The core work comes as a little bit of a supplement into that and they will just be implemented at the end of the day. In terms of his nutrition, now we listened to his nutrition and it was bad. Let's, no bones about it. Me in 2011 did not know what I was eating in the slightest. What I would look to do is rather than completely overhaul his eating patterns, it's just not gonna happen. I know that wouldn't happen because that is me. And at that point in time, I, I mean, I still don't really know how to cook, but I completely didn't know how to cook. My mum can probably attest for that. Going, here's a meal plan for this. I don't know. I don't know how to cook chicken. Like, that's not happening. So what I would look to do is coach me, coach Liam, on what a proper nutrition makeup looks like. So I would tell him about proteins, carbs, and fats, just so he has an understanding of it and he can build up his knowledge that way. I would tell him to drink more water. One, because he needs more water. And two, because it starts a habit change in place. If he starts to drink water on a daily basis, which is something that is really, really achievable and costs nothing, bang, we start a habit change that he can then build upon. And what I would also look for him to do is get a protein shake. Now with that, I remember getting a protein shake. Might not have been in the first year of me training, but 
at some point along the line I definitely got one. Did I use it correctly in terms of was I using it on a regular basis? Probably not. Now times have changed from 2011 to 2020 and protein is way more available I think and far cheaper and easier to get a hold of. Back in 2011 when I didn't know anything or where to get anything the protein that I got was from Sainsbury's. I probably overpaid for it but again at the time you just do what you can find. So what I would advise is getting a protein shake, I would probably put him in the direction of where to go but I would let him find it so it's his journey and I would go get this protein shake and drink it on a regular basis, one a day, maybe one every other day, whatever he feels like is best for him. But we set that in place. Again, small habit, but it also increases his protein and gets him used to consuming a little bit more calories on a regular basis. So the whole framework of what I'm trying to achieve here is to get Liam strong in his foundational movements. It's to make sure that they are cemented and he feels comfortable in those positions because they will last a lifetime. I want to set some habits in, term, in place in terms of his nutrition and just make sure that becomes something that he can maintain and keep doing all while still being able to wrestle. What I'm not looking to do in Liam's first year of training is completely get him to do this bulk program where it is a load of movements and he's having to eat a load of food because I can tell you he wouldn't do it because I know I didn't do it. What I needed at that point was a way of getting into it. But this is the problem and this is the crucial point that I want to make here is that if you're watching this video the likelihood of you being in like your first year of training is fairly small. We're probably looking back on this in retrospect. Me then probably wouldn't have seen this video just because I wouldn't have been in the right circles for it. So we try to capitalise on it as much as we can but if I'm being completely honest we might, I might have never had this experience with me when I speak to people that are on a younger basis that if that's through wrestling or at the gym what I try and do is encourage them to find their own route in training so yes I would set this up for me but it's very rare that I would actually go into training reason being is that I want him to find his own journey that's what I did that's why I ended up here I made mistakes I learned from it I fell over a bar on my back in front of everybody in the gym it was humiliating but I did it those sort of things make you and provide a journey for you to go on to so with that being said if you aren't in your first year of training if you've missed your gain train don't worry it's cool it's just part of the process if you are in your first year of training again like I said work on the skill of strength think about some small fundamental nutrition things that you can put in place if you've got any other questions that you want answers to in terms of what do i do in the gym please get in contact and i'll help you out as much as possible if you've liked this video hit that like button share it with someone if you found it fun and if you really like my content subscribe to the channel because i will be doing more of these i've been liam from Lazarus personal training and i am off to get a haircut